So how do you do this with your data? Here's some position vectors, and this is just a review from statics where you first learned about position vectors. So you can define vector AB as the position, the x-coordinates, and the y-coordinates, B minus A, that's the vector from A to B. You can take that and you can apply that to each of those segments on the body. Okay, the vector from the knee to the hip would be x hip minus x knee, y hip minus y knee. The vector from the knee to the ankle would similarly be x ankle minus x knee, y ankle minus y knee. Once you have the vectors, you can start calculating your joint angles using trig. The easiest way to make the computer do this with the trig is to use the dot product, which you can recall from previous classes like statics has these two different definitions. If you want a review of that, there's a number of videos out on YouTube. Go Googling how to do the, or go searching for how to do the dot product. With the dot product, you can find the angle theta, and you can try it on our data set in MATLAB. A couple of things to note as you're trying it on our data set in MATLAB. Uh, one, when you're doing this, you need to use an element by element operation in MATLAB. So dot star instead of just regular star. And that's so that you do um, one element and the element in the joining matrix with it instead of trying to do a matrix operation. So it's a difference between element by element and matrix operations in MATLAB. The other thing that you need to remember is that the inverse cosine in MATLAB by default gives you an angle in radians. If you want degrees, you need to use the A cosine D argument to get your arc cosine. Once you've got your angular positions, you can go ahead and calculate your angular velocities and angular accelerations for the data. So pause for a second and think, how would you calculate the angular velocity of the lower leg? Well, you take the derivative of the angular position, d theta dt. We have discrete data, we don't have continuous data. d theta dt works for continuous data, it works for a function. Uh, so you're gonna need to think about how you do that for discrete data points, that is a matrix of data points instead of a mathematical function. And then similarly, angular acceleration alpha is d omega dt. And then, and then similarly, acceleration is alpha equals d omega dt. For our numerical data in MATLAB, uh, you want to use the command diff, D-I-F-F, which takes the numerical derivative of data points. So make sure that you go into the help and look up how to use the diff command in MATLAB for that. Ultimately, your goal is to be able to create point or er, create plots of the joint kinematics. So this top row here is joint rotation. That would be angular position for the hip, the knee, and the ankle for one gait cycle. And then we'll talk more as we move further in about calculating joint moments. So the moment at the knee or the hip like we did in the leg lift example manually by hand when we were talking about statics and how that applies to the human body. And then finally joint power how much power is the joint exerting or using to perform the motion that you have? So you'll be doing that with our data set that we collected in the lab and uh, doing all of this math on it via the homework prompts. So uh, bring your questions to class. I'll see you there.